what's true need and I'll bleed it Geeking off a perkin bitch I'm feeling like a demon bitch I came in drifting on the pavement Pass me to stainless I'm asked off face Now I love Dying Fetus Best band in the world I think Best band I've ever heard When I first bought the Rain Supreme album On a whim and an FYE Back when that was a thing I was amazed and I listened to that album for literally like I don't even know three years straight or something every time I got in the car I was listening to Rain Supreme I actually even uh, I've, I've met the guys I opened up for Dying Fetus back when I was in this band called Wings of Steel it's gonna, I'm gonna be releasing music under a new name Wolf Summons Baby before too long um, but even better than that, I did karaoke one time when they came through with them, where they played Subjected to a Beating, and I did the vocals on stage with them when they played all the instruments. That was like the greatest experience ever. It was so much fun. They're such cool dudes. Their music is really great. That was way better than opening for them, because that was like I was performing with them. Unfortunately, I don't have any videos of that. But the point is, I'm very excited to hear this single. It took me a little time to listen to it because uh, I wanted to capture my reaction. So, you know, I haven't listened to it yet. It came out on September 2nd. I'm very excited. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. That's Dying Fetus for you. You know what? That reminds me of the intro of Fixated on Devastation. Also, it reminds me of the intro for Conceived into uh, Conceived into Enslavement off of the Descendant of Depravity album. Uh, those two songs, they start strong, just like this one does. And, uh, you know, a lot of great technical proficiency. It's part of the reason why I love them. And I can already tell that strong technical profi proficiency intro they're about to go into a fucking groove right here which is why I love them so much because they make that perfect combination of skill and groove and very nice composing and songwriting let's get back into it <laughs> Some people just get, get drunk right there. Uh, that's an example of some really good songwriting right there. A technique that I use myself sometimes. Um, and this is my first listen through, so I don't know the riffs or whatever, but it sounds like they're taking that idea from that riff they were just playing and playing off that idea into the next riff. So it's a progression. It's a, like a progression, because that's what you do when you're writing a song a lot of time, is you can have an idea and you can evolve that idea over time. And so it doesn't even have to be that much change. It's just slow amounts of change compounded into each other create a, like a evolution or progression through the song. I haven't really heard him do vocals like that before. Also, uh, even though Sean, I feel like, is the more legible vocalist, the bassist, uh, this might be one of the f a few times where I'm like, I can actually understand some of the words that they're saying. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Oh, 
like that. Bueno, no. See, that's something you can mosh to, man. When you're in that pit and you, it's going crazy. That's why I love them so much. Is because it's not just heavy. It's not just technical. It's something you can really get down to. It's something that you can feel in your core and you can just... That's a cool transition right there. See when they set it up, they start playing the riff, and then the riff continues with the beat changing underneath it. So you can, that's an example of kind of what I was talking about before. We can have one thing that the bass and the guitar are doing and keep it the same, and you can have an entire progression for a build up, a break, and then a like a re-entry where it, all the change there is really happening through the drums. Okay, they're doing the same riff. But it's a whole new section now. Oh, they even added that tail in there. They even add to the And then add way more right there. I wonder if they're still... I know on that last album they released, they said that they actually took it into their own hands in like the uh, recording of the music. Um, I wonder if they're doing it themselves still for this one, because, you know, it sounds... I think the quality sounds a lot better than it did on the last album go through. Not to knock it too much, I do feel like the Reign Supreme album has the best quality sound, in, in just in terms of like engineering and mixing and mastering of all the albums that they made I don't think the newest one that took it in their own hands the quality of that was quite up to par as the Reign Supreme album but this one does sound definitely like an improvement from the last album and uh, those two vocals at the same time that like you know screaming growling harmony that sounded really tight and you could clearly hear both of them at the same time. That's nice. It's such a trip to watch them live, man. Yeah, do it if you I was live if I was watching that live I'd be going in on that that is great 
Very, very excellent song, Mr. Fetus. John, Sean, Trey, excellent work. Can't wait to see it live. Uh, I'm going to get down to that one. I'm, uh, that's, gonna, that's going in the playlist for sure, man. They never disappoint. That's, that's top marks. Top marks for me. That's all I really have to say. If this is your first time listening to them, I highly recommend. Start with the Reign Supreme album. If it's not really your thing, start with In the Trenches. That's probably the most accessible one. You can work your way from there. Greatest band in the world. What's up, party peeps? How's it going? Checking the mic. 